is anybody else like starting to scrub that one spot on their cabinet before they know it they've scrubbed all their cabinets yeah it's that time of year Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. I have four boys ages 9 to 19. Um, I've done some videos on curriculum, on raising boys, on some other homeschool subjects. And I also know that Thanksgiving is coming up in a couple days. So that's on a lot of people's minds right now. Um, whether you'll be traveling or whether you'll be hosting, um, we get the opportunity to host this year. We have some family coming to visit, so we're very excited about that. So I did want to mention a few things that I am very thankful for before I get into the subject of my um, video, which is more about curriculum. So I do want to thank the Lord so much for sending his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for my sin and becoming my personal savior. I thank Jesus for saving me. And I do want to thank the Lord for giving me a godly husband um, who works hard and is very supportive of homeschooling. I feel very blessed to have that. I am thankful for my four miracles. Um, I say that because we were at a point we did not think we would have any children. Um, we were just sort of at that point of looking, thinking, this is probably not going to happen. And really just having to give that to the Lord and move on. And within a few months, the Lord blessed us after eight years of being mar married with our first. And... Um, since then, we've had a four boys total, and I feel very honored that the Lord was merciful and gracious to us, and I thank him for that. Um, I thank him for my family, for our parents. Both of sets of our parents are just such a blessing to us, and um, I'm thankful for my church, and I'm thankful for my church family because, you know, you have that like-mindedness when you're with your church family, and they are such a blessing to us, and we thank the Lord for that. But today I want to get into talking a little bit about the curriculum that we've um, grown to love, and that is Heart of Dakota. I just want to talk about it a little bit because I don't think a lot of people are that familiar with it, and it is such a blessing. And first of all, I want you to think of how you see you and your kids schooling. Do you want to be on a schedule and be done by a certain time? Or do you want to be sitting with your kids with living books and just learning together? Do you want history and science um, to honor the Lord? Because history is his story and science is all about his amazing creations. Do you want it to include um, math and language arts? Or maybe you want to pick your own math and language arts. What about a curriculum that is Christ-centered and honoring? Um, also, what about flexibility? Being able to maybe not do everything in that curriculum that it asks or maybe doing some extra. Those are all part of Heart of Dakota. And I feel like I can say that with confidence because we've experienced all of that. Um, you can use their own math and language arts and we've never used their math, but we have tried Rod and Staff and that is their main curriculum. We've actually used some of the writing choices that they had over the years. We do use our own math curriculum. I've just had already picked a math curriculum which was working great for us when I discovered Heart of Dakota. So we just decided to stay with that and it has worked well. Um, I love living books. I love being able to read with the boys. Even as they got older, they love to be read to. I think it's just a unity that brings everybody together. We're all on the same subject and we're all talking about it. But you may be thinking, well, I thought this was all separate. And it is. Um, like I have my fourth grader. He's in preparing hearts for his glory. And I have my ninth grader. He is doing world geography. But a lot of times I will read my oldest, his living library book. I will read it out loud because that's what I enjoy to do. And they both enjoy listening. Now, I'll be reading my fourth grader's living library and my other son, <laughs> my older son will be over there um, doing his math or something. And I think he's listening. But they just love to learn. And I will tell you, the books are such good quality books. It's hard not to grasp your attention. So I'm very thankful for that. And Christ-centered. I just feel like the flow 
of the history with the science and the choices there. They just intertwine together so well. And um, right now, okay, preparing, I feel like you would describe it more like a world history. You start from creation, and I think it goes all the way through World War II, I think. But um, it's just intertwining Christ and, um, so much and knowing that it's his story. And I think it's the book they use for that, which is Grandpa's Box. It's just an amazing book. I mean, if you don't even use the curriculum, I think that would be a wonderful devotional. And that's in the Preparing Hearts for His Glory. So, and also my older sons, I want his, his history, um, just seeing how the Lord works in so many ways. And you can see that the Lord was preparing for Christ to come, first of all, and how it did have to all come together and how the world had to be at a certain point in time for him to come. It's just so neat to see how it all falls together and the way they explain it and the way she just picked some really good books and, and living books too um, to, to go with all that. So we really enjoy that. And flexibility. Do you have to use everything in the schedule? No, you don't. You, um, for example, I actually have my son's preparing book here. Okay, this is day three, and it's got the history reading, the story time, the geography. This box is different every time. Um, independent study and history project. Well, we don't always do the history project. We try to if we have everything there right in front of us. Now, when I did this with my two oldest years ago, and that was the very first time we used it, we did a lot of it. Um, I felt like I had a little bit more flexibility in my schedule back then when my kids were younger. Um, um, so it just was a little bit easier then. My fourth grader, I feel like because he has older brothers and knows a little bit more than maybe my first one may have, not in a negative way. My older one's very smart. <laughs> it's just it's just different. Um, so sometimes we do it and sometimes we don't. And But we usually do the reading, um, the story time, the independent study, and we usually do this third box too, which is geography or timeline. So, but on the other side is everything else. Poetry. Now, I did this the first time around, but I'm not doing it this year. Um, I was sort of hoping to get into it, but I haven't yet. Um, for Bible, we're just looking at the scripture, and we are doing the science. But there was one time we were at the very end um, of one of the books. It was actually the desert one, the last, well, we're in the dinosaur one now. But we were right down to the last couple days of it, and it was very good. But I felt like he had gotten everything out of it, and it was just a couple more pages. Um, it was almost more of a review, is I guess I could put it that way. And then a question paper to fill out. I just let it go. It was okay. It's not going to make or break his life if he didn't have one of the papers filled out for science. So it can be flexible, and it can be however you want to pick and choose for that day. Um, I would encourage you to go ahead and at least do the the history and I love story time their choices for that so I just wanted to mention all those things about Heart of Dakota and what we love about it so I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video I hope it was an encouragement to you and giving you some thoughts and ideas and even if you aren't even thinking about Heart of Dakota just the flexibility you could possibly have with the curriculum that you're using now. If you like this type of content, I'd love for you to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we'll talk to you later. Thank you.